Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where our mission is not only to motivate you but help you to move on to the right side of the health. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about chronic pain. Chronic pain is a condition which has become like a pandemic. There are so many people across the globe who experiences chronic pain. Chronic pain even though does not have a very typical pattern, a very typical place, but show definitely certain commonalities. This chronic pain for some could be around the neck, for some could be around the shoulder, for some could be around lower back region, for some at hip or for few at knee joint. Wherever is the location of your pain, it carries a strong vicious cycle as a root cause behind it. In today's video, my intention is to talk to you about this root cause. So, if you who are someone who is suffering from chronic pain, make sure to watch this video till the end to understand about this vicious cycle and also understand how to get out of this vicious cycle. Friends, I am physiotherapist Meghna Dave. I am the founder of HealthQ Rehab. HealthQ Rehab is a digital community and physio rehab platform for people with movement related disorders. We believe that we can help people to move better in their life through content, through community and through a quality rehab services which we deliver online as well as offline. And we have been helping many patients suffering from chronic pain from years. And from that experience, I am going to share my insights about it today. So, what I have seen in my personal experience helping patients suffering from chronic pain is that chronic pain always starts with one episode which would be because of either injury, sometimes a strain, sprain or spasm. This injury or sprain or spasm could be due to a fall, sometimes due to an accident and even sometimes due to a repeated trauma. But the problem that this acute pain turns into the chronic pain is with what you do in between these two times. Most of the time, what happens is whenever you suffer from any sort of chronic pain, you will take help to get reduction from the pain. You will either take a muscle relaxant or else a pain reliever or else you will go to a doctor or physiotherapy center and take some machines for your pain relief. Definitely these machines for pain relief are helpful and you will get good results out of it. But the problem starts here when you get relief from the pain or else say your pain becomes manageable, you neglect that pain. You leave that pain there itself. You stop focusing on that area and you carry on with your day-to-day -day activity. Now this injury, sprain, spasm, what has happened? Whatever has happened in the muscle has got a very partial improvement, not complete improvement. And you start putting the stress or load on those muscles again. Now what happens due to this is Whenever a muscle is injured, it's weak and when you start putting stress back on it, that injury which is incompletely healed, start repeatedly injuring again and again. These injuries are not major one but are like micro traumas. When you go through multiple events of micro traumas which you don't even realize sometimes, in from inside or from within, the muscle is getting weaker, it's getting more and more injured, more of collagen tissues are being accumulated, more toxins are being accumulated there, muscle starts becoming more scar based, more stiff, more tight, you start developing something called as nodules or tender points or trigger points. This trigger points becomes those nasty pain areas which gradually starts limiting your movements and start showing up in the form of discomfort as well as stiffness. Whenever the stiffness gradually progress, you start observing limitations in your movement. Before, it was very easy for you to sit down on the floor. But as the days passed by, now sitting down on the floor has become absolutely impossible. Squatting has become impossible. The reason is this vicious cycle and this is what turns out into as chronic pain. Now after the stiffness what happens? 
whenever your body goes through some extra mile of work some extra situation where there is more physical stress involved some days let's say you have a party or you worked a lot you stood a lot at that time the muscle starts giving up and this time the pain is way more higher the injury is way more higher than you got at the first time this pain experience stays within your head as a negative experience this transforms into a memory and whenever the stride happens again that memory becomes more fresh makes your body more tight more stiff in order to guide you and this vicious cycle keeps on going again and again and again and landed and lands you up as a chronic pain and lands you up in a chronic pain situation so what is the solution to this problem well the solution if we see physically is very simple number 1 act fast so whenever you have even a slightest amount of pain don't ignore it take care of a physiotherapist or your doctor try to understand the source of pain and try to work on that pain as much as possible number 2 don't leave your pain in middle pain is just a sign that there is something wrong going on in your body it's important to identify from where this thing is happening start working on that cause the root cause of your pain the sooner you act the lesser time it will take to heal and better it would be number 3 keep yourself physically active don't be the prey of sedentary lifestyle the more physically active you are the more right patterns of activities you adopt the better it would be for your muscles to recover and better it would be for your body to withhold the stresses that it goes through throughout the next thing that you should keep in mind is to take care of your posture your posture is sometimes the culprit of all your problems so identify is your posture correct or not and if it is not start working on it start correcting it the good news is with the help of exercises on a consistent basis you can correct your wrong posture even though it takes time but it's possible because it's a muscular and bony related alignment and last but not the least also take care of your emotional or mental well being sometimes emotional stress increases your level of pain it makes you more susceptible or it makes you more uh, responsive to the pain experience so try to work on all this aspect so that you can get out of this vicious cycle of chronic pain our agenda is to make you understand this concept of chronic pain management so that you can get out of it so make sure to follow the series that is going to come up in future to understand chronic pain and how to manage it On that note I'll end this video here and I'll see you in another video thank you